This is the behind the scenes bulletin of the Serafina Speaks for Children Who Think show. I'm your host, Serafina Melina Durban. Let's go right ahead to the bulletin, shall we? In some ways, this was a pretty easy episode. I love anime, but Mama steered me away from the V word violence. What is it with people? I'm Serafina Melina Durban. And this is Serafina Speaks, a podcast for children who think. This stay away from violence reminds me of the drama group I went to last year. Good teacher, nice group. We were making a play in a day, zero to performance. When we were collecting ideas to explore, I suggested death. Bit of violence, maybe. The teacher went pale as sour milk and said a firm no to my ideas. She was worried about what the parents would think if anything a bit dark was included. Instead, the girls did a lot of fluffy dancing and smiling. My body was there, but she killed my enthusiasm. Is the worry if we talk about violence that will then become violent? I can tell you now I'm not interested in becoming gory myself. The worst violence I've done is kill a spider or try to bite my brother. Okay, I did bite my brother. There we have it. I don't believe that watching anime inspires kids to become violent. It's much more complicated than that. Surely it's more about understanding consequences of violence that matters. Talking about these consequences and not losing grip of the differences between fantasy and reality helps a lot. Tell me if you think anime is creating violent children. Yes or no? Write to me. If you'd like to join my correspondent team, First, leave a review for this show on your fave podcast app. Then take a screenshot and send it to me at serafina at serafinaspeaks.com. That's serafina at serafinaspeaks.com. Then I'll be in touch with you with more info about being on my show. Next week's episode is called Adult Sayings That Make No Sense. I'll explore some of those silly sentences that grown-ups say to kids we're expected to understand but don't. I'll drop one here for you. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Imagine a piece of cake on a plate. It's yours, but this saying pretty well tells you not to eat it. I'll try to make sense of this and other things just like this. Hope you'll join me. Thanks for listening, everyone. Remember, smash that subscribe button and tell your friends, family and teachers to listen in too. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. I hope you enjoyed this bulletin, everybody. If you like what you hear, click the subscribe button. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for all your support.